We all know that there's a lot that still needs to be learned about the novel coronavirus that causes COVID-19. For example, should we expect to see this virus fade as the temperatures get warmer? Good question there. Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy joining us now. And our researchers finding any connection between weather and this virus. Doctor? Mr. Ryan, when we think about the common upper respiratory infections like the flu and colds, we know that these illnesses hit harder in the winter, right? And then the risk gets better when, when spring and summer arrive. It seems, simply seems to go away. But it, could that be because of increased sunlight? Could it increase your vitamin D levels, increasing your immune system? Could the UV rays kill the, the flu and cold viruses? So unfortunately, however, it, that doesn't appear to be the case with COVID-19. The U.S. Academy uh, of Sciences, the U.S. National Academy of Sciences, say that the virus actually can spread rapidly in countries that are experiencing uh, summer temperatures like Iran and Australia. And a new study in China supports that idea. It found that transmission of the coronavirus, unfortunately, did not seem to change in cities where the temperature and humidity were higher. Now, there have been exper experimental laboratory studies, right, that show that higher temperatures and humidity may reduce the survival of COVID-19 viruses. But there are many other factors at play when we talk about person-to-person -person spread of the virus. And scientists really agree that more long-term studies are needed. So the bottom line, it's premature to think that warmer temperatures and warmer weather will control COVID-19 until we have a vaccine and more uh, better treatment, really social distancing, washing your hands and disinfecting are the most effective, effective ways to reduce the coronavirus transmission. So Dr. Nandy, we've heard about over and over these major symptoms like fever, coughing, shortness of breath. Some people infected with the virus are only having digestive issues now. Can you tell us about that? Really interesting, uh, Glenda. You know, it seems like some people just have gastrointestinal problems when they're infected with COVID-19. Researchers in China found that 18% of people experience digestive issues. In, in Italy, it's 8% 8, 8 in the U.S. so far, less than 10%. And they were typically milder ca cases of COVID. And in some cases, they were the only symptoms that these people had. Now, the patients sought medical care much later than those who had the typical uh, symptoms of the coronavirus. And this is really critical information to me, and here's the reason why. That means that people who have a sudden onset of problems, digestive problems like diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting should really speak to the doctor and say, should I get tested? Should I self-quarantine? And again, don't get me wrong. I don't mean to say that if you have digestive issues, uh, you know, like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, that you have the coronavirus, but we have to keep that in mind. And your healthcare professional may consider testing you if you have contact with someone who's had COVID, uh, but if, and if your symptoms suggest otherwise. So but we're really learning a lot more about this virus and, and GI symptoms or gastrointestinal symptoms may be part of it. We're learning more now, and I'll keep you abreast of that. All right, important insight there. Thank you, doctor. And if My you pleasure. do have a coronavirus question for the doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com or send it on over to Facebook or Twitter. And be sure to watch an all-new Dr. Nandy show this Sunday at 1 o'clock.